I went to my scrap car that had cruise control installed and I ran full scan on that and I had a look at what the option was. I worked it out through uh, a series of eliminations and I worked it out. However, in parts one and two of this video, you will have seen I've now got cruise control installed on this on this car and now I can actually show you on this car why it is options one and three. So if we go to my laptop now and I open up Forescan and I connect to the vehicle and I go over here to the configuration and diagnostics you'll notice I now have an option at the top that I didn't have before. Before I only had PCM in as-built mode now I've got PCM in, what do they call it? Uh, vehicle ID block configuration. Now, if I accept that, I I get, I'll just turn the ignition off, I get actually a really easy to use um, menu that just allows me to turn the cruise control on or off with enabled or disabled. Now, you'll notice there that option one or value one is disabled and option three is enabled. That's what the one and the three, that's where they come from. Now, you'll be wondering what happened to two and four and five. Well, I don't know exactly, but I'm going to guess there are some different types of cruise control options. For example, there's adaptive cruise control that uses a radar to slow down when the car in front of you is getting a little bit too close. That would be a different option that just isn't available on my BL Mazda. So they need to have different numbers for each of those options. On my particular car, the only options I've got are options one and options three. So that's where it came from. Uh, I hope that helps. I'll... Um do step four in a second. Okay, see ya.